Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Wednesday, yeah, Wednesday the 9th. I think we have CPI today in the, in the wide, wide world. No, tomorrow CPI, I guess. Um, we're looking at some long euro here today, feeling sort of the long euro um, in our bones here. We've had one, two, three, four big down days. Um, we talked about trying to get long euro down below 119.50. We did one little purchase and then just sold. Same thing, just a tactical trade today. We printed down to 34 feels like she's just come far enough right so you want to try and pick some of this that up today between sort of 45 and 55 um, you know and try and sell it out near the figure right so just try and dump it to 85 90 um, like in that euro gold I mean oil it's a red day gets more interesting below 64 60 have we done enough uh, certainly the Hutu uh, rebels don't have enough firepower really to hurt Saudi Arabia, so we're not taking that all too seriously, uh, to be fair. Let's look at some of these dollar pairs, other dollar pairs. Dollar yen has just been on a tear. I think I mentioned right around here, 106.25. Nobody trades dollar yen anymore. Uh, that's one of the dumber things I said. That's really been a trendy fucker. Um... Obviously, 110, big round number, and the 109.87 highs. Uh, this is an obvious place for a fade. Um, and then again, after it touches up there, it becomes an obvious place for a break trade uh, through 110. But first time up, you want to sell that. Dollar Swiss. Certainly helps my salary, right? I get paid in dollars. Um, little three and a half percent boost there since uh, 90 cents we'll start getting really skeptical of this at 96 um, no real no real view in, in uh, dollar Swiss it's all driven by euro Swiss which for some reasons at 111 um, the only thing we know about euro Swiss is you can sell it uh, just in front of 120 we know somebody who has who's who's long 800 billion all right Central Bank. Hi, I see you. Um, let's go to Kiwi and this is this charts. Sort of doji, 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 triple doji. This has to decide and reconcile itself uh, either up through 78 and then we're off to the races higher or down through 77. Let's call it 10. Um, we will not trade the top side. Uh, we're very skeptical of risk on here, but if we do start seeing risk off, um, you know, we'll be riding the white pony down there, 77.10. Saddles on. This is a similar little one, two, three, four, sort of five low job or now, 71.03, the low today. Um, This looks quite interesting if if the dollar just keeps, you know, if rates keep going higher in the U.S., but really this works best if it's risk off. When was that? It was the end of New York, of course. You can never trust Kiwi at the end of New York. Um, it's like a bunch of hungover Kiwis waking up, just slamming stops. Uh, Anyway, this goes during good liquidity, say the European Open, or mid-morning Europe, or during peak liquidity in uh, New York. It looks pretty good. Um, dollars are continues just to to rip. Fifteen fifty. If you're not long this anymore, um, don't really want to be paying fifteen fifties to enter fresh longs. Uh, you probably want to have to wait and see if we come back down to earth somewhere between 1530 and this death knock 1508 if you are long just sit tight um, this can go a lot higher 
This is just like that dollar yen point, 1567. If you want to try and tactically trade it, you can probably sell it between 65 and 70 today. Dollar China, same deal. You just want to stay long this shit with the rates where they are and risk off lurking. Um, trade it up to 656. You can now just buy this 650 now as, as support. Look at Bitcoin, bitty bitty Bitcoin, 54k. Nothing to do up here. If you don't own Bitcoin, it's not the time to buy it. Um, Ethereum, same deal. You just want to wait for pukes on that stuff uh, and then try and jump in. Let's see what the 10-year yield is. We're hanging at 157. I'm pretty sure this is going to 2%, so this has some more legs. Certainly 176 looks very easily achievable. Um, this is driving the bus so as this continues to go higher uh, dollar gets bid and we get risk off if this comes back down to earth uh, that trade will reverse all right that's all I got today we're trading the euro from the long side today sort of on a tactical little deal um, let's see let me take a look at S&P's 3850 not doing too much uh, what was the low yesterday? 97. Sort of a bearish bullish day, right? Higher daily highs, um, higher daily lows. But a red candle closed at 20. We're back at 50. Looks like we're going to get some sideways here. You, I would be worried if we got up through this line up here. So selling up between 85 and 95 looks uh, looks interesting today, but. I'm not really feeling it in the S&Ps. Just kind of watching it, using it as a uh, barometer. All right, listen, I got to hop. Uh, good luck out there, people, and talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.